Thanks, Abby. I'm here in the Red Eat Room with second-year head coach of the Ohio Bobcat basketball team, Saul Phillips. Saul, you have one year under your belt now. What's the one thing that you've learned from your time here in Athens so far? This place is great. Uh, love it here. Want to get the people around here a few more wins. That's goal number one. But uh, honestly, we have tremendous resources here to be able to recruit kids to this campus. Uh, I would have wanted to go to school here. So all I have to do is convince kids the same thing. And uh, it's been a fun process. Mm -hmm. So last year might not have turned out the way you wanted it to necessarily, but what's the biggest change or the biggest learning thing, biggest thing that you took from last year that you're going to apply to this year? Well, I don't think we're changing what we're teaching as much as, you know, obviously there's just a transition in the pieces that you have within the program. And there's an energy, there's a renewed sense of, it's like springtime in the basketball offices. I think you're going to see Tony Campbell play more of a focal role in the audience, in the audience, in the offense uh, for us a little bit. Let's talk about Tony. He's kind of took maybe a backseat last year to the senior group that you had. How big is his play going to be, and also his leadership? He's been here now longer than almost anyone else on the team. Yeah, we've got a lot of fresh faces, so he is a legit veteran. Uh, he has taken a big step forward in terms of being aggressive, demanding the ball. He can score it in a bunch of different ways. He calls the three-pointers secret weapon, but when you take four of them a game, I don't think it's much of a secret anymore. You talk about the new faces, six new freshmen. How important are they going to be at the beginning of the season, and where do you want them to get to by the end of the season? Most of them will assume somewhat reserved roles early on here, but their roles will grow as they grow. Uh, they've done a terrific job coming in, and even on a established team, I think a lot of them will be knocking on the door for some playing time anyway. Two guys that are technically returning, but they didn't see any playing time on the floor last year. They had to sit out because they transferred Jerron Simmons and Kenny Kaminsky. How important are they going to be on the court for this team, knowing your system and helping out those guys, and also in the locker room or in the huddle? For everybody watching us, there'll be new faces, fresh faces, but they're they're more the grizzled veteran types, and they have done both done a great job of helping these freshmen along, kind of understand what it takes in terms of work habits, things off the floor uh, that they have to get done. What are your goals for the max season specifically, and then just your season overall? I've got a long-term goal and a short-term goal. My long-term, I'd like to just put wins on top of wins every year, so it is it is a gradual build to becoming a solid program year in year out. This year, listen, start at the baseline. I don't want another losing season. That, that wasn't very fun. Uh, can we do significantly better than that? You know what? Let me take a peek at our guys in the preseason. I'll, I'll set a goal for the MAC by then. But realistically, you want this program to be at a point where every year you go and say, you know, if things shake out right, we could be in the mix. All right, Coach, thanks for taking the time to sit down with you us. Bet. The Bobcats are in action for their first regular season game against Florida Gulf Coast tomorrow in the Convo at 2 p.m. Now back over to Abby with more on the Green and White.